All right, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to compress and decompress files and also directories. So, you know, whenever you're just working with Windows, if you have a file that you want to compress or um, maybe you have a zip file that you want to extract, you can just right click it and then you menu pops up and you're like extract all. Well, that works great on Windows, but from the command line, we don't have that luxury. We just can't, you know, right click something and have a menu pop up. So whenever you're working on a server from a remote location, you need to learn how to do it from the command line. And this is first, let me show you guys how to just compress a single uh, text file. And these files, they're not special. I just, you know, added some random, you know, crap like this in them. Nothing important. So let's just go ahead and compress this one grocery list. So the program is called gzip. And then after this, just type the name of the file. Really simple. Now, if you start typing grocery list and hit tab, it's going to pop up. And another thing I want to point out is this. So whenever you have a file name and it has a space in it, such as grocery list, well, usually whenever you're running commands from a terminal, whenever you have a space, it means do something else. Either add a, you know, additional parameter or maybe, um, you know, a new file name or a new program. Well, now we're just saying, um, no, this is just one file. There's just a space in it. So that's why whenever I start typing, it added this backslash because the backslash tells Ubuntu, hey, whatever character comes after this, then just read it as the space and not, you know, a new command. So there you go. If I hit enter, check out what happens. It takes grocery list and it compresses it into a GZ or compressed file. So if you ever want to extract it or decompress it, then what you can use is gunzip. Now, whenever you use gunzip, remember, since this is a compressed file, it has the .gz extension. So don't forget that. And you can just hit enter and it decompresses it. Boom, roasted. Now, a lot of people don't really care about doing this with a single file, but they use it for multiple files. So say for example, I wanted to send this to someone over the internet, but it was too big. So I needed to take both of these and compress them into a single tar file. And a tar file is kind of like the equivalent of a zip file for Windows. So what I do in this case is type tar. And why the F did it pop down there? CVF. And what these parameters mean right here are, I'll break it down into, you know, C first. So C means create mode. So we're going to create something, nothing new. V means display the output in the terminal. So once this is done and the command is ran, then, um, you know, it's just going to give us a little notification of what it did. You can leave it out if you want, if you don't want to see anything, but you know, I like to verify that the program works successfully. So there you go. And this F, these are just the file options. So the arguments that come after this, um, well, I'll show you guys what, what they are right now. So the first thing is, hey, you're taking these and you're putting them into a new zip file. What's the name of the zip, AKA tar file? I'll just name it like um, uh, bucky.tar. And that says, okay, so this is the tar file. Now, what do you want to add to it? Well, I'm just gonna add grocery list and also favorite movies. So you basically write tar, CZF. What do you want the name of your tar file to be? and what files do you want to compress and stick in it? Well, it's going to go through and boom, look at that. So if you ever want to extract it or unzip it, you guys may be more familiar with that term, you just use tar xvf. Now remember, C, this is pretty much the same thing as when we compressed it, but we're extracting it. The only thing different is this X. So X means extract. C means create a file, X means extract it. So they're really easy to remember. And you just write the name of whatever you're trying to extract. You don't need the files inside. And boom, check it out. So since they were already, you know, I already had them on my desktop, you guys probably, uh, you know, didn't notice them flashing real quick, but they were extracted. You guys just have to trust me, I guess. So anyways, that is how you compress and decompress individual files and also how you compress and decompress multiple files into a tar directory. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.